Hi you guys, so today's video is about and will feature the adventure that me and my friend had looking for K-pop merchandise. Um, I hope you enjoy and just stay tuned. of our adventure through the train station and everything. I didn't have my daughter with me today, but she had hers and I figured I would do a little bit of video of the reality of traveling with a toddler in Japan. There's not always elevators or escalators or anything. You gotta just make them get out and walk or you carry the stroller down. 
that's the reality of it. Um, we went to a Chinese restaurant, which you saw and I did video of. Um, the interesting thing was when we were translating the menu, it wasn't translating because the entire menu was even in Chinese and then the parentheses was in Japanese. So it was confusing our um, translator app. And the woman, our waitress, she was Chinese. So she was trying to talk to us in broken Japanese and broken English, which was fascinating. Um, the area was dubbed like a Korean town from a friend of ours who is Japanese. She lives in Japan. And I think from an outsider, if you're visiting Japan and you have no really idea what to look for, you would not understand this at all. But listening to the different languages and looking in the different stores, it was Korean town in the sense of I think that a lot of Koreans probably live in that area of Shinjuku. That's where they would get a lot of their merchandise. There were a lot of Korean beauty products over there. There were a lot of Korean restaurants. So that's what she meant. But if you really don't know the difference between Korean and Japanese and Chinese, you're not going to really understand that. So if you're just coming to Japan randomly and you go there, you might not notice and it's directly next to Shinjuku. We walked the 30 minute walk to Shinjuku to get to that station to just be able to get on the train and go home. Um, ah, My friend did wanna go out and look for Korean merchandise, which she found, and I did a little bit of video of it. If you are a fan of BTS or TWICE, those were the only ones that I knew. <laughs> um, there was video of merchandise from them, but they did have other bands. I just did not know who they were. If you saw any that you recognized, I would love for you to comment below about it, or if you listen to BTS or TWICE, and if you have a favorite song, that'd be cool if you commented that too, because it's it's all new to me. Um, she was really, really happy that we found the store. It was the only one we went to, but when we opened up our Google Maps, like we got to the city and we're like, okay, well, where's the stuff? We opened up our maps and we found that first store, which I videoed for you. She got what she wanted and then we were like, well, that's it, we're done. I did, we did venture over to the Animate store, which is the anime store that's in that area of Shinjuku. I was sad though because it was a really tiny one and my favorite one to go to is the one in Ikebukuro that's like five floors and you gotta take the stairs because the elevator has a really long line. Um, anyways, I didn't take video or anything in there because it was really small and I really, that's not what this video was really about. It was about going to go find a K-pop store and we did. Uh, I put pictures in the video. We found a boba tea place. I don't really like the pearl tea stuff. I don't, it's weird drinking and then one just goes in my mouth. So I got one without the pearls. My friend likes the pearls so she did and I put those pictures, pictures of the graffiti and all that stuff. And what we ate at the Chinese restaurant. Um, yeah, so that was it. I had a lot of fun going out and just exploring. I hope you enjoyed the small video. And that, yep, that's it. Here's my little clip it. And till next time.